Hey guys, welcome back. Check out this video by Myron Golden. I believe there are people who are poor who are glad or happy. I believe there are people who are rich who are glad or are happy. I believe the mistake that a lot of people make is they think that I'm poor right now, but when I get all this money, I'm going to be happy. I submit to you, if you can't be happy when you're poor, you won't be happy when you're rich. All right, Kirby, what are your thoughts on this one? I think... I think this is the hallmark of everything. What I mean by the hallmark of everything, this is the part that is always omitted from the social media space. And I understand why, because nobody, the harsh reality, nobody want to give the harsh reality. The harsh reality, and I always say, no matter what, you know, wealth building method you use, it always starts with being able to live on less than you make. The only way you can live on less than you make if you're comfortable where you are. And I have friends and family, they sit there and they they have an ideal. They don't know for sure how much money I make, but they know it's more than average person. And then they sit there and wonder, how can you not go out there and see a BMW or Mercedes or go get a bigger house and do all this other stuff that you see people on social media doing. It's because I was comfortable where I was at when I was poor. I was happy where I was at. Not being poor, but the the life that I set up, you know. And then I always tell people, I don't have any plans on selling this house that I live in. I don't look at this house as, oh, it's an investment. I look at it as this shelter, a place for my family to live. And hopefully... My son lives here and, you know, him, his wife, his kids later on down in life. And it just keeps going down like that. And it just leaves that debt obligation away from me. But it's about the comfort. Everybody thinks they can spend their way to wealth and then they're going to be so happy. But that's not the reality. I mean, let's look at NBA stars. Let's look at sports athletes. Let's look at movie stars. All these people that make these huge sums of money and then they're on drugs. They're alcoholics. They kill themselves. NBA, uh, 42% or 38% of the people in the NBA file bankruptcy within three years of them leaving the NBA. NFL, 56% of the players file for bankruptcy after they leave leaving uh, NFL. And there's people that's making you know, tens, twenties, thirty million dollars a year. But the truth of the matter is, if you're not comfortable in a set, in a situation that's less than what you're making, then you're always going to be striving for that next dopamine, that next high to get you to the next level. And then when the income stops, you're still going to be in that same mode of, hey, I got to achieve, I got to do more, I got to spend more, I got to spend more. And that's that's a real a construct, I believe, that is missing from all the social media space altogether. Is you have to live more or less than you make, but you have to be comfortable at that level and then use that money to invest. But if you're not comfortable where you're at and you think you're going to make more money, make more money, and then be comfortable, no, you're going to keep striving for the next high, striving for the next high. It's just like a weed smoker, an alcoholic, a heroin addict, a drug dealer. You're just going to keep striving for the next high. And then your next high is going to be bankruptcy, and then you overspend, and next thing you know, something detrimental can happen to your life. So I love that video. Yeah, I like this video a lot, too, because, I mean, for one, I can I can relate to what you're saying. The comfort of being able to just live with simplicity, live with little to nothing, It's I, I can understand that. I can understand that life. And, you know, where I'm at now, I don't go back to my to visit my grandfather in his little old house that's running down and think, oh, I'm better and bigger than this. Like, those are right. those are places where I'm happy to be with them. And right. it doesn't take me having to go to some nice brand new two-story house or mansion to feel like, okay, this is where I belong. Like, I don't feel like that. Right. And, you know, I think a lot of people, they get... they their head gets too big. They make a little bit of money and then they get too much of an ego and they completely forget where they came from. And mm -hmm. I am okay with living with simplicity, with living with just home cooked meals or whatever. Like it's not a big deal to me. And I think that allows me to st just focus on the game, focus on the mission.
and just you know mm-hmm. home life is one thing business is a different thing because you know if you try to say okay now I'm making more business now I got to have all this luxury in my life then you're just you know showering yourself with too many bills and then it's going to get too much in a beast you're yeah, feeding a beast <laughs> so i mean i understand it from that angle and then i also understand it from the angle of say um it, this came to mind was uh you know my wife's family they come from a third world country and seeing where they lived uh when i had went to visit now you know her her family lives in colombia and then she has family in venezuela i went to colombia visit them in colombia seeing where they lived in colombia and i'll i'll post photos up here of the place um it's soacha colombia which is outside of bogota and it is as you can see up here very run down and they are the happiest and nicest people i know compared to people that live in a first world country back in the united states yeah and yeah. With the little that they have, I mean, their incomes are literally 200 to the highest to them was 400, 450 dollars a month. And making 450 dollars a month to them was like, oh, you're making big bucks. And but with that lifestyle, they were willing to give you a coffee every time they saw you feed you like always willing to do things for you and you would never know that they were struggling with bills now obviously the reality is finance is always a problem for everybody no matter how happy you are and i saw mm-hmm. it and i see it with them they're very caring people they're ready to give you the shirt off their back but they struggle with finance and i saw this especially when we brought my in-laws to the united states and my mother-in-law said, I'm still worried about the debts I have back at home. And I was like, for what? Like, you're not even there anymore. But, you know, that they live in the same mentality as people here, you know, constantly worried about bills. But the difference was they were so used to living with way less than people are used to living here in the States that, I mean, their way of life was just different. They're, they're way willing, way more willing to, you know, do what they can to help the other person. Right. And and I always go with this mindset and um, you can take it with you or not. I always believe, I don't care if you live in a one bedroom apartment with roaches or you live in a 20 bedroom mansion. I treat every place I go to like a mansion. And what I mean by that is I'm going to go in, I'm going to sit down. I ain't going, we're going to sit there and converse, crack jokes. And things like that, but I'm not going to be oohing and eyeing no matter what house I go into, because to me it's just a place. It's just a place. It's just shelter. I mean, I've been to third world countries. I mean, in little mud huts, and you see, you know, like you said, just like in Colombia, the people, and I know they have little to nothing, but they would always bring you tea. They would always, you know, bring you bread, you know, and make sure they sometimes they even pull out a spread. And I always say you treat every house like it's a mansion and you treat the janitor as well as you treat the CEO in business. Those ways, but you have to have a comfort level. I don't turn my nose up when I go to people's house. I mean, I go to people's house and then sometimes they want to show me around or some people just think that because I have this money, I live in this, you know, alternative universe to think that, oh, I'm so... I'm so better than everybody. The red carpet has to be rolled out for me. So you, you see me come over people's houses and they're trying to hurry up and clean up and they're trying to spruce it up. And I'm like, I don't care about all that. I mean, I can't, I, I never forget where I came from. And as a kid, I was happy in the hood of Detroit. You know, when I was, when I was, you know, going through the grind, it sucked going through the grind of the financial debt, but I knew once I got out of the debt, I wasn't going to improve my lifestyle much more than the lifestyle I had. You know, I'm going to have a house, have a car. And the only thing that was going to change was I have the ability. I'm not going to do it, but I have the ability to do anything that I want to do. And then financial stress wasn't going to be something that I wake up and concern myself about. But I was happy in the situation I was, you know, 
regular ordinary friends. I don't have to be rubbing shoulders with celebrities. I don't have to be at the club popping bottles. I don't have to do none of that and stay happy. But the thing is, people who are not of those that come from uh, lesser means, they think that the way to feel happy is to go out there and strive to, you know, hang out in Hollywood, you know, go to the, the next grand opening and things of that nature. But that stuff don't make you happy. Only thing they do is make you envious of the next person and think that, oh, I got to strive to get that. I want people to look at me like they look at these celebrities. And then they're never happy. I mean, just Google celebrities that celebrities or ultra, ultra wealthy people that turn their life upside down. The media love you and people love you when you have money and they'll destroy you if you lose it. So be comfortable in a zone and then make more money than that zone you live in. So you can live a comfortable life that financial worries is not your biggest worry, but comfort is the key element to all success. So let me say, guys, if you have any questions or comments, let us know down below. Share this video, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.